Hi friends, thank you so much for joining me on part two of week three's Virtual Mini Masters. In case you forgot, my name is Miss Jordan and I am the Youth Education Coordinator at MAWA. In part one, we had our discussion about the painting Irises by Ruth Rotenraum, and we also read the story Bees Like Flowers. In both the artwork and the story, we talked about bold, bright, beautiful flowers. So for today's art project, we are going to paint our own bold, bright flowers. But instead of using brushes, I thought it'd be more fun to use finger paint. On our website, there is a downloadable PDF file, and on it has our supply list for today. It should look something like this. Okay, so here is our supply list that is on our website, wisconsinart.org. And as you can see, today we need paper. Just normal white paper, 8.5 by 11 is fine. If you have other paper you want to use, that works too. Um, we need some sort of coloring supplies, such as crayon markers, colored pencils, all of that will work. If you don't have any of that, paint will work for that as well. It's just a little bit easier to have some coloring supplies. And then lastly, we need some washable, non-toxic finger paint. Okay, so I'm going to walk through the directions step by step so we can create our finger paint flowers together. Okay, so we have our in half by 11 paper. We have our coloring supply. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw some lines on my paper to look like stems. It should look something kind of like this. Okay, so as you can see, I drew some stems onto my paper and it looks like so. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and add some grass to my flowers as well, which will look like this, okay? When we are done with that is when we should start figuring out our paint. So feel free to pour yourself some paint and get that nice and ready. It's okay if you don't have these exact colors, you can kind of decide what you wanna do. Maybe watch this through all the way and then you can kind of pick and choose what parts you wanna do or incorporate in your painting. So now that I have my paint ready, I am going to stick my thumb right into that yellow paint and I'm going to place it onto my painting. It doesn't matter where, but that's going to be the body of a bumblebee eventually. So probably higher up, just so it doesn't get in the way of flowers might be easier. I went ahead and made two bumblebees on my painting. Next thing is I took that yellow paint and I just dunked my finger in a little bit and made three dots on the top of those three stems. That's going to be the center of our poppy flower. So next, I took my pinkish red color for my poppies, and I just used my thumb, and I made kind of a little hat on the top of one of them. Then using my thumb, I slowly worked my way around that center until it was completed. Okay, so I did that for the first one, and I did it for the second one. As you can see, I have kind of five swipes on the bigger flower and only four on the smaller one. Either way works, just whatever you thumb size you have and how um, you decide you like how it looks. Then I finished off with the third one. So now this is what my painting looks like. It's partway finished. I still have those two empty stems though. So I went ahead and thought it'd be kind of fun to mix some of my colors. So I kind of have this bluish purple color and a lighter version of it as well. I stuck my pointer finger in there. Okay, and I'm going to start to work my way up. These are going to be our, our snapdragon flowers. So as you can see, I'm starting at the bottom and I'm slowly working my way up. Then I will work my way to the top and all the way back down. I wasn't thrilled with being able to see all of the stem, um, but if you like that look, that's totally fine. But I went ahead and did kind of another layer to blend in some of that stem. Then I decided to go ahead and do my second color. This one I used a little bit more purple in, and I again started at the bottom and worked my way up on that snapdragon flower. I continued on to the top, along the side, and down. Okay, so I have my two different snapdragon flowers, as well as my poppies and my bumblebees. So this is currently what my painting is looking like. I decided I wanted to go through and add green leaves to my poppy flowers. As you can see, you can either just take your finger and put it right and dab, or you can swipe little leaves as well. If you don't like the look of leaves, 
You don't have to have any. It's just totally up to you. Also, this could be kind of a fun opportunity to add anything else you want to. If you want to add more leaves and stuff to the grass, or if you want to add bugs or butterflies, now would be kind of a fun time to do that. Because once this is done, I'm going to set it aside to dry. Once it is completely dry, I'm going to go back and add some details with markers. Now, if you don't want to go back and add details with markers, you don't have to. If you want to do it all in paint, that's totally fine. I don't have black paint. Um, so I'm choosing to let dry and then go back with black marker. So I went ahead and added black centers around that yellow to finish off my poppy flower. Okay, so this is now what it is looking like with those finished poppy flowers. So those are completely done. Next, I have to work on my bumblebees. So I went ahead and added little wings and a little stinger and little stripes and eyeballs to my bumblebees. So, so my finished finger paint project looks like this. So now everyone's will probably look a little different just because you probably have different paint at home, you have different size fingers. Um, if you have preferences as to if you want to make sunflowers or daisies, anything like that would work. But I would love to see what you come up with. On that downloadable PDF file is my email address, jgibbon at wisconsinart.org. Please send me photos of your finished product. I love hearing from you. I love seeing what you come up with and create. I'm so glad that some of you have been sending me images along the way. It's been so fun. So again, when you guys are done, share your creations. It's fun to see. And then I hope to see you next week at Virtual Mini Masters. Again, in the meantime, go to wisconsinart.org for other fun activities during this time. I hope you had fun creating with me, and I'll see you next time.